Got tagged him on Twitter, so he might be watching. I don't know what time they practice at Ole Miss. But what would you think about the possibility that Lane Kiffin would get the LSU job? Because right now, I think we all had him kind of pegged to go to Florida, correct? Correct. But do you want to go to Florida if you're Lane Kiffin? Their lack of administration, their lack of leadership, I don't know that Florida is a better job than Ole Miss right now. Right now. It might be in five years because of the recruiting advantage. But you talk about a recruiting advantage, you've got that at LSU. And if Lane Kiffin goes to LSU, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, he's going to win a national championship. That's a fact. So should other coaches be afraid of Lane Kiffin getting the LSU job? And I can also tell you this from multiple sources. Before they hired Brian Kelly, he reached out for that job, and or at least his agent did. And he also had a plan to keep Ed Orgeron around, which pro- might have undermined him, to be honest with you. But he wanted that job. I think he wants Florida, but I don't know that he wants Florida, Caleb. So should SEC coaches be afraid of Lane Kiffin potentially get the, getting the LSU job? I say absolutely yes, because he's going to have better recruiting from the high school level. Okay, and then he supplements that with now he's learned how to manage the NIL, which everybody's had to do. I think Josh Heupel is ahead of the curve. A lot of coaches have had to catch up, but he's done that. So he supplements that with the quarterback that he absolutely wants, and he's got a high talent level to go along with that. He'll win a national title if he's there. He'll win two if he's there for 10 years. Oh, I agree. One billion percent. I mean, uh, the SEC should be scared of this. And you're right with the Florida administrative issues. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone thinking that Florida's, I think, you know, talking about LSU being a better run program than Florida. I mean, Dave, throughout your time covering the SEC, wasn't LSU the most incompetently run administration who like stumbled their way to three national titles? Because if we talked about before, you don't even need brain cells to win it there. So uh, it's, it's uh, they hilarious. Were, uh, they were both equally as bad in the 80s. Right. And they were they were both referred to as sleeping giant programs on multiple occasions. But um no, I mean I mean what's the most successful program? Alabama now with the national champions uh championships. But before that, you know, Oklahoma has what five, Nebraska has several. Maybe say Notre Dame, just historically Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean LSU should have been in that category. Florida should yeah. have been in that category, but they were historically bad before the 90s for the most part. LSU right. the end of the 90s was still bad. Yeah, exactly. Um, so now when we debate the easier jobs, everything in a vacuum, I would say, I've always said LSU is the easier job. I would say in the NIL age, Florida could be the easier job. The only reason I say that is Florida has a chance the only reason LSU was ever an easier job than Florida was because if you're Florida, Dave, you have to compete with Florida State and Miami for recruits, right? That was yes. always the tough part. Well, if Florida's in the SEC and Miami and Florida State are stuck in this bad ACC contract, if Florida got their administrative uh, Stuff problems together. together, yes. If they got it together, you do realize that Florida would be the premier program across the whole state of Florida. I mean, do you realize what that is? Do you realize what it is to be the premier program in the state of Florida? They could literally build the deepest, most talented teams year in and year out in book college football history at that point. And okay, I would take the LSU job over the Florida job. I would too, because of the fact that LSU's better run at this point. But that's the only reason. But I if you throw out if you throw out uh competent administrations. I actually think Florida right now should be the better job, but I I agree. I take the LSU job. In LSU, you don't have to go far to recruit to get kids. You know that they want. I mean, you're the one who told me they want. They look for reasons to stay in Louisiana. They don't want to leave Louisiana, and Louisiana kids are unnaturally more athletic than the rest of the country, guys. When you look at them in the NFL, and so, so administration aside, which job would you take? The show represented by Banks and Jones. Well, it's because they're Tennessee's trial attorney. You can play to win with Banks and Jones because they'll go to trial. You've heard of other lawyers. They say they'll go to trial and fight for you. They won't. 
They just want to settle. That's the easiest way out. Well, that's not Banks and Jones, led by T. Scott Jones. They won't settle. They'll go to trial for you. Tennessee's trial attorney. They play to win. Truly, Tennessee's trial attorney when it comes to criminal defense or personal injury. Why settle? It's Banks and Jones. T. Scott Jones. Banksandjones.com. If administration wasn't a problem, would you take the LSU job over the Florida job or vice versa? I would take the Florida job nowadays. If it was pre-conference realignment, I would have taken the LSU job. But Dave, again, you, the, the, the way you determine these jobs is how much talent is in your recruiting pipeline area compared to how much competition you have for that talent. So we always agree that Florida has more talent in their recruiting pipeline area. They just had to compete with Miami and Florida State and now UCF. Do they really have to compete with any of those schools right now if their administration is right? Would you rather have your pick of the litter of Florida kids or your pick of the litter of Louisiana kids? Even though Louisiana kids, there's a lot of talent, but there's more in Florida. It's just a okay, state. Uh, to answer your question, I would rather have my pick of the litter of Florida kids, but I think I'm going to have easier recruiting success at LSU. I think the guys want to stay there. So your pick of the litter comment is very apt, but I, I would I would take the guys that that ultimately I think want to be there because listen, if, if you have if you have more hours in the day and you don't have to recruit against Miami and Florida State and now Central Florida, as you mentioned, and maybe even a little South Florida with Alex Golish down there. But um, if you don't have to recruit against those teams, you got more hours in the day to invest in the guys that you really, really want. So I think what Lane Kiffin would do is he would build his recruiting base off, obviously, Louisiana talent. And then I think he'd cherry pick with NIL. I think he'd find the quarterback that he wanted that was out in California that perhaps he had to spend too much money or too much time on. You know, let's, let's face it, Tennessee went all in on a lot of recruiting hours and dollars with Nico Iamaleava. And we could argue now, and we'll discuss this with John Adams a little bit later, if, if some of those efforts couldn't have been better spent in other recruiting areas. I don't think so, but we'll get to that. Caleb, I just think that you, you've got a natural – you're going to have a B to B-plus roster at LSU almost to a default. Yeah, but see, I think that's the case with Florida now too, and I'm going to tell you something crazy. I think you 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 talk about Florida's more national. Do you not think there are enough kids in Florida though that want to stay in Florida? Mm, I think yeah. there are. I just know talking to recruiters, coaches over the years that they would rather dive into Florida and try to battle than in Louisiana. They felt like that that was just a lost cause. What about here's the thing that what about the Miami area? See, here's what we're talking about here. Miami is stuck in the ACC. You don't think Florida could get the Miami area pipeline that built the Hurricanes into a dynasty in the 80s and 90s? That could be Florida now, plus the rest of the state of Florida. And by the way, you don't think Lane Kiffin can recruit Miami? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Man, he had new Keith Richardson, uh, still the only player that I've seen straddle a punt, and he did it twice. Straddle <laughs> a punt return. Uh, that's I'm the just, only guy I've ever seen do that. I'm just saying, like, I agree with what you guys are Guys, I'm the one who – I'm called – Travis calls me Calhoun with an X because I talk about how LSU is the easiest job in the, in America overall. And it is because Louisiana kids, not only do they want to stay in Louisiana and not only is LSU the only division one school, but also you can track this in the NFL. Louisiana kids are constantly undervalued on the recruiting trail. They actually are. I mean, if you look at the population of the state, even being in the deep South, they should probably be like nine or 10. They should be like Mississippi in terms of players put in the NFL. And somehow they're in the top five on the level of Florida and Texas. So I get it, guys. You aren't like, I know how good those kids are in Louisiana. But I do think Florida is such a bigger state population wise. And there is no more competition in Florida for Florida kids because Florida State, Miami and UCF are effectively division two schools now. They're effectively group of five schools. So you're not you're not getting competition from them. Florida State and Miami compete with Florida as much as Tulane and Louisiana Tech compete with LSU at this point in Louisiana, okay, in terms of recruiting because they are not in the SEC. That SEC brand, when you're stuck in the ACC, is going to screw them. So I think Florida, just based on raw numbers, 
does have a better chance to land more talent. And then if you're Lane Kiffin, I mean, come on. I mean, when you're talking about girls, you want, you're, when you're talking about 20 year old girls, you want to take <laughs> home. I mean, Florida or Louisiana. Great. Well, I hope Lane's watching. Lane, I didn't tell him to say that, of course.